What's up YouTube? Today I've got another review for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at the IPV Aspect Pod. Go check out the unboxing video which I also put up earlier this week. This awesome little pod is actually going to be released on the 18th of February. So a little sneak peek for you guys. Let's jump straight into it and have a chat about this awesome little IPV Aspect Pod. Recently, IPV have been kind of revamping their brand from the Pioneer For You logo to the new IPV logo. They've also been coming out with some pretty unique designs with mods featuring Yeehe chips. Now, the special thing about this little aspect pod is that this is the first pod system with a Yeehe chip inside. Inside is the Yeehe SXK1 chip that powers this little IPV aspect. Now with the aspect, it's actually variable wattage thanks to that Yeehe chip. And another little surprise is this one also has adjustable airflow. I believe it was about November last year when I first saw some of the images of this aspect pod and some of the marketing material. So I've been quite curious to try this one out. The aspect pod has a really attractive design. You've got this cute little sort of rainbow colored inlay in here and it's quite curved so it fits really well in the palm of your hand. It is a little bit bigger than some of the other pods though it is about roughly the same height as the Smoan S8 to give you guys a comparison. But what's really cool about this is of course the Yeehe chip that's inside as well as the battery capacity. With that 750 milliamp hour battery you're getting double the capacity compared to other pods of this size. And that battery is huge. Four and a half days on a single charge almost exclusively vaping on this. At the moment I've got a 48 milligram Nick Salt in here, Killer Custard. It puts out some pretty impressive clouds for a pod system. You have four little LED indicator lights on the front here, which can indicate to you how much battery you have left. When it gets down to about one, you will notice a significant drop in power, and that's a good indication of when you should charge. But for four and a half days, this thing just kept going. I was wondering when it was actually ever going to run out. On that single charge, I actually refilled the pod 2ml pod cartridge in here twice. One of the things I've loved personally about the Aspect Pod is that my nicotine cravings were really satisfied. I mean, obviously with a 48 milligram, that's pretty strong anyway, but I've tried 48 milligram in my other pods and it just wasn't giving me the same satisfaction that the Aspect was. Now, because of that, I really think this is going to be a great pod for smokers to start with when they're getting into vaping. The Yeehe SXK1 chip is the first Yeehe chip we've seen inside of Pod. The Aspect Pod has the ability to switch between two different wattage modes by simply clicking the power button five times. So at the moment I've just put this one over into high wattage vaping mode. And puts out some decent clouds. So pressing the fire button another five times puts it back down to medium wattage vaping mode. Still some pretty impressive clouds. In high wattage you've got a range of 7.8 to 13.7 watts and in medium range you've got 7.8 to 11.5 watts. Now, as I mentioned, this does have adjustable airflow, but where this is located on the actual pod is quite interesting. It's on the actual cartridge itself. There's just a little sliding thing here, which you can use to really restrict that airflow or have it wide open like I have at the moment. So if you're someone that's more of a direct lung vapor, you probably are going to really appreciate that. 
It also gives you some control over it. So you can really restrict that drawdown, which means this would be really good for a smoker. Now, as you can see, the cloud production from this aspect pod is really impressive. And it's also unique that they've used the stainless steel 316L. Someone did point out to me this week that there is another company that's done that with the uh, Lost Vape Orion that uses a stainless steel coil in their pods as well. But it's not really all that common. So in this aspect pod, they've used that stainless steel and it really does make a difference. The flavor on this is actually the best I've ever had from a pod. No joke. Now, I do say that quite a lot because the pod technology is getting a lot better in the last 12 to 18 months and flavor is also improving as a consequence. But the choice of using that stainless steel coil in here really makes all the difference, I think, to the flavor as well as the cloud production. The overall design of the Aspect Pod, it just is absolutely stunning. And this has been designed in California, just like they did with their VIT mod kit that recently came out. I love the little attentions to detail. Down the bottom here, you actually have a little area, so you could wear this on a lanyard or a chain. And the little inlay here, which is kind of like Mother of Pearl, but probably fake just looks really cool. It's available in a few different colors. There is a little sort of rose gold pink one in there as well, which looks really pretty. But yeah, it is definitely a really attractive looking pod. One of the things I love about the Aspect Pod is that this one stands up with no problem. Quiet! What I really love about the Aspect Pod is that you can stand this one up without it falling over because it does have a very wide base. This is great because it means you're going to have less leakage. That is one thing that does happen with pods. When you lay them down, you are going to get a little bit of leakage. So the fact this can stand up is really cool. The pod itself only weighs about 90 grams, so a little bit heavier than some of the other pod systems I've reviewed recently, but you really don't notice it too much, and it is worth it to have that extra battery capacity in here. Another great design feature is the way we have these little windows on both sides of the pod, so you can see how much juice is left in your pod. You don't need to keep pulling out the cartridge to check, and it's fairly sort of not too opaque so you can clearly see the cotton through there as well. When you go to charge the pod there is a little LED indicator on the side where your USB charge port is here and that will display red and once it's fully charged it will go off. Charging takes roughly about an hour but the fact that that battery lasted four and a half days is absolutely amazing. If you're someone that's a fairly heavy pod vapor or a smoker just starting to vape you're really going to appreciate that you're not going to have to charge this multiple times a day if you're using it that heavily. Now the actual pods for the Aspect are really, really made from a high quality plastic. They fit very comfortably in your lips and there's no rough edges. Cons. It was really hard to think of any. So here's something that I wouldn't mind seeing, a suggestion. Rather than a 2 mil capacity, let's go with a larger capacity like we're starting to see in things like the Lost Vape Orion and I think their Q device that they're coming out with that has a large capacity as well. 2 mils is kind of average now. I think people are kind of starting to expect more. So I'd love to see a pod with a slightly bigger capacity. It would be good if you included more than just one pod cartridge in the little kit. Um, I can't wait to see them actually start appearing in stores because I know I'm going to burn through this one pretty quickly. I suppose one little con I could add in is that I found it a little bit messy trying to refill this. Now, of course, you do have a bottom fill system on this one with a silicon stopper, which is attached to the pod. I just found it a little difficult to fill this. You have to do it very, very slowly because the air does get sort of trapped in there and it can start to sort of backflow on you. So it's a little bit annoying to fill and it also is slightly due to the fact that the cotton is right next to that fill hole. So it kind of starts getting backed up and overflowing and that's something, an issue that I had with a couple of pods recently. But let's talk pros. A huge pro is that the Aspect has variable wattage as well as adjustable airflow. It's not something you often see in a pod and I think it's really good that more pods are starting to come out with this. Another pro is that the Aspect is really, really well designed and it's a really stunning looking pod. Something a little bit fancier. I like it. Another big pro is the huge 750 milliamp hour battery. 
four and a half days on a single charge. What can I say? That's amazing. I love the little window design and the fact that you don't have to keep removing your pod to check your juice level. Awesome. I like the shape of this. It fits really comfortable in the palm of my hand and the fact that they've included a gap here so you can wear it on a lanyard. Though it is over 90 grams, so I don't know if you want to go wearing this about your neck, but it's good that you have that option. Another big pro, vapor production on this. And that flavor. Honestly, this is the best flavor I have gotten from a pod yet, and I am not exaggerating here. I love my Smell Ant S8. I also really love that Lambo series pod, but this one does beat both of them on flavor. Now, I haven't tried the Smell Ant Carrot yet. That one's meant to be pretty good on flavor. And of course, I haven't myself tried the Lost Vape Orion. I've heard that's really great on flavor as well. But for a pod that is only roughly around going to be retailing for about $30, that is pretty amazing. Definite big pro that they've used the stainless steel 316L coil. Bottom line, so I really can't find any negatives in this pod other than the fact that filling it was a little bit messy. But that's just such a small issue to have when everything in this pod is just so perfect. I love the cloud production. I love the flavor. I would like a bigger capacity because I am chewing through juice in here so quickly. I've never used a pod and enjoyed a pod so much. And that really is no exaggeration. I just love the experience I get from this. I think this pod is going to be perfect for smokers. The fact that you can adjust that airflow down to get a really, really restricted mouth to lung hit. You can almost direct lung hit this with the amount of power it puts out and vapor production all the way up to 13.7 watts. So that's quite a little bit higher than many of the pods that are out. And the 750 milliamp hour battery, yep, can't rave enough about that. Having a battery capacity like that in a pod is exactly what I've been waiting for. Um, this one really has pretty much been my main all day carry for like the last week. I just can't seem to put it down. Flavor is so good. I'm absolutely loving that killer custard salt in here. But yeah, more advanced vapors are going to really like this one as well. You're not feeling like you're stepping down a heap in power. As the battery does drain, you are going to notice a little bit of a drop in vapor production, but that really doesn't happen until you're down to only one LED light on here. At that point, it will shut off because you do have all the protections in here, of course, with that Yeehee chip. But when it gets down to about one and you notice a vapor drop, plug it in for a charge. Less than an hour to charge it and you're back to having a pod that lasts for four and a half days. Maybe less for some of you that are heavy vapors, but I've been using this pretty heavily this week, trust me, and it's still going. It just provides a really satisfying nicotine hit. Good job. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you do go check out my unboxing so you can have a closer look at the pod itself. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. Keep it cloudy, YouTube.